Well, welcome back to Blender CC Live Noting. In this episode, I will be using Blender 2.92 Alpha. And in this version of Blender, there's actually something that you might overlook. We actually have a new version of Texture Node Editor. Okay, I, I think many, many people probably hardly use this node, but it's actually really, really quite powerful, especially when you're doing like a texture painting on 3D objects. Um, I'm gonna show you. So normally if you want to do a painting on this object, for example, the cube, by default, it's already have UV map, so it's kind of ready to be painted. And then you switch to texture paint. By default, you get this pink color because it will tell you it's missing textures. Right, so you need to give it a texture, first of all. Um, you can texture the base color or roughness, metallic, etc. But normally you want base color. And this is the resolutions of the texture. You can bump it up, but it's okay for now. So white color. Okay, cool. Now you can start painting, right? And this is just a basic brush, but you very, very quickly, you want to use uh, texture right and normally um, you can turn on this brush texture and then you perhaps you can use something like cloud and you start painting cloud in different color you can bump the radius so this is all procedural um, texture however however uh, you might actually want to try using nodes because it's a lot faster sometimes and you can do something like similar to armor paint where you can use like a stencil or stickers I'm gonna show you very very quickly so this is texture node editor you're gonna turn on switch to brush editor I mean brush texture and then turn on use nodes okay now that we are using nodes this one changes to nothing right this is uh, the notes there seems to be like nothing there's no preview however we have this checker and this checker is multiplied with this color over here by default is red and white checker pattern you can change it into any color so this is the basic so you might think okay well it's nothing much right but it's actually really quite powerful you don't stop there um, we have two patterns bricks and checker and you can mix and match it there's a lot of nodes here that I have I haven't tried maybe uh, in the next episode of blender sushi life noting um, there's also all these procedural textures that you have earlier blend clouds magic a mask grave maybe try mask grave and you can start painting this maybe Voronoi yeah, Vorono. um, in this version of Blender Alpha on Mac we don't have preview maybe on, on PC you have preview one thing about this that these guys also have Alpha so, so I think if I'm doing this correctly it will paint the alpha channel yeah maybe maybe not for this maybe I haven't done this properly however if you want to do something that's really cool I have a bunch of image here and I'm using this app called photo room it's available on iOS Android it's for smartphone right this app actually getting rid of the background and you have this alpha I got this cat picture from Twitter, uh, which which I will I will try in a moment. I can try using this sunflower and just drag and drop it into Blender. And suddenly, okay, we have this ability to just paint the sunflower, and this is similar, very very similar to uh, Armor Armor Paint. Um, it's an app. Uh, it's a paid app, I think around 16 euro or something, or 20 dollars. 
so the but you have it here in blender also it's a uh, slightly different with armor paint you can you can use uh, not just texture but the whole material with PBR material and you can just paint over and you have you have also layers etc anyhow we have something like this in blender and with this alpha and image drag and drop you know you can paint something very very quickly let's try this this is so this is still just super basic of texture node in blender 2.92 it's a uh, in the previous blender I don't think it's it's working like as good as this but yeah this is a good this is really cool um, there's a lot of options under texture and under under this texture paint and texture node editor that I, I cannot tell you all in one go but what I like to change here you can try with this tiling method you can use random for example so I'm using random now so when I'm painting something it's just gonna randomly stamp it you might not like it but it's you can create something really abstract very very quickly so this is random what I really like maybe field plane or stencil stencil is really cool So it's a uh, oh this is texture mask sorry let's just go back to this guy stencil okay stencil allow you to paint sticker and you have this preview thing while you you're rotating your 3D you have this preview of what you're gonna stamp. It's okay. It's projecting it into this 3D objects. That's why it's slightly slow. Now, if you go back to object mode, you might think, okay, you can't see anything anymore because you need to turn on texture. <clears throat> and if you want to render it out, you switch to this mode, and you already have the texture because um, because of the material. The material itself is a note and <clears throat> the texture that you've been painting is under image editor you can see material base color okay so you have this cross if you are totally new to 3d this is like cross because of the UV the UV layout this is the UV editor okay right so now it's a uh, everything makes sense. Let's try paint using this cat. Drag and drop. So you can actually change texture on the fly. I don't know, maybe in the future we can kind of randomize multiple texture. I, I haven't tried it. Okay, now see. We have this cat and we can just stamp it. I forgot who took this, the photo of this cat, but I think it's really cute. I think I have it on my Twitter. Um, can we rotate this? Okay, we can scale. Okay, we can rotate very easily. So, um, while you are in this mode, right click is move right click and drag is move and then control is rotation and then you can stamp sticker on it okay yeah and this thing here the color will if you want to multiply whatever image you have over here under texture node editor and you can you can now stamp um, this image 
So let's switch back to, instead of using stencil, back to viewing plane or tile, okay, viewing plane. So this one is also interesting. You can see the color is now getting mixed. Let's just switch back to, switch back to RGB full white color so we have the ori original image. When you're painting, you probably want to be in this mode. This is the fastest one. Okay. Well, with viewing plane, you have there's this random, and you can rake and random, turn on rake and random so. When you're painting, it will follow the brush. You can create something that's really super abstract very, very quickly. So this is the cat texture, of course. Sunflower. Um, yeah, I think I have too many things over here. Just gonna hide it. Just gonna hide it. Okay, it's faster now. Sometimes when painting, we probably want to reduce all kind of uh, what we don't need, like shading. We just want a flat, uh, flat image on the on the screen. Control Option Space to get rid of everything. And this is how we can paint super abstract design. Control option space back to normal mode. So yeah, this is uh, just a quick introduction to texture node editor. Okay, remember. So this is this is the nodes that you're gonna work and change the texture on the fly. But remember the if you you need to switch the texture texture paint and also you need to have this you probably want to have these properties. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, give it give it a try. This is I think working best if you're using Blender two point ninety two alpha. This is the latest version, I believe. Um, in the future, I will try more of this texture node and perhaps we can do like a randomizations using this node. This node have really cool thing like curve time. What is this? So you can use curve and time to paint texture. Well, I haven't tried it. It's more like for the masking for it. But anyhow, anyhow, this is something you want to keep eyes on because it's a uh, super cool. This is what the uh, armor paint is doing similar. If you perhaps you can instead of just painting the base color in you can also paint like uh, the diffuse and roughness using this method. At the same time, you know, like you want the material to be metallic, etc. This is how you do it. Um, I keep mentioning arm armor paint because with armor paint, um, it's similar. You are using notes, but. Uh, Maybe I should sh just show you. So Armor Paint is a separate app. I believe it was, it's kind of like a, what's underneath, Unity Engine or just a Blender. I can't remember, but if you want to paint like with nodes, 
Um, say we want to use this cat. So we have this cat. Plug in the color, the alpha into opacity. It's basically very similar. So now it's just like painting on the UV, but on Armor Paint you need to switch to Decal, and you can stamp this cat. And but in order to randomize, I think it space for random. Oh, doesn't doesn't have random or angle. Well. <clears throat> Like performance wise, this one is faster. What's really cool, however, with Armor Paint, it has this roughness and metallic control. So you're painting um, with metallic reflections, etc. And you also have layers. This is what Blender currently doesn't have. I mean, you can use another add on that does the thing for you but can be improved so I just drop in sunflower and with armor paint we can have layers and we can mix and match the texture so I can have another layer just for the sunflower and maybe get rid of metallic Yeah, can paint. There must be a way to quickly randomizing it. X, Y, symmetry, X ray, etc. Everything is similar to Blender. So yeah. Sunflower. Next to random tiled 3D random okay feeling play turn off random break turn on rake so it's like a snake mode whenever you are happy with this and you don't forget to save your image because it's not saved by default so you see this asterisk that means you haven't saved it so save as and then it should be fine sometimes you want to save and also pack all the other data into the blend file so everything is going to be inside the blend file so file save as I'm just gonna save this Yeah, so once the file is safe, you can just export it as GLB and then convert it into AR and it's just gonna work. Alright, so this is just a quick look at this texture node editor, Blender 2.92. I think it's it might work in the previous version of Blender, but I think it's better in this version of Blender. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.